Hey YouTube, how's it going? My name's Robert, and I'm gonna teach you how to build this floating lip shelf right here. Oh, right here, it's not made yet. <laughs> and then right here is where we're gonna insert the sexy slow-mo shot of the final product hung on the wall. Anyway, I'm gonna teach you how to build a floating lip shelf. Uh, supplies for this are pretty easy. I've got three poplar boards here that I bought from my local lumber store. They were already cut to five foot lengths, so if you don't have a saw, this project is totally still doable. Um, I've got a 1x2, a 1x4, and a 1x6. And uh, I, I chose poplar because I just think it's a little bit more of a premium wood, whereas like a Douglas fir or a pine, uh, it gives you a little bit more of a, of a rustic look, but not necessarily super nice and clean. And I, I, I just personally, I'm a big poplar fan, like the cake. I know that I'm really talking it up. I just, I really appreciate the wood. Sue me. Okay, so we've got uh, our three pieces of poplar here. We've got two clamps. We've got Type On 2 and uh, this 20 volt DeWalt 18 gauge Brad Neller. When I reached out to DeWalt and told them I was doing this video, they were kind enough to send me to the nearest Home Depot to buy my own. So thanks DeWalt. How do I... um, I'm gonna just dry fit it here for you. So uh, the shelf will basically kind of look like this. You're gonna put a little bit of glue on the inside here, a little bit of glue here. Uh, put a brad nail, 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 brad nail. Let's pretend like I didn't do that. Now, when it comes to mounting brackets, you can definitely put mounting brackets on each side, but you're just gonna have to be super precise about making sure that they fall in the same spot, or else you're not gonna find true level. You want to experience true level? Do you? Yes. For me personally, I'm just gonna drive a screw through uh, the front here, find the stud, and I think I'll be able to find a more level spot that way. I'm gonna be covering it up with different pots and pans. I'm gonna cover it up with different flower pots and frames and everything like that. So for me personally, I don't really care that it's gonna be exposed, no one's gonna see. Let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna do is spread a little bit of wood glue on the parts of the wood that will be butting up against each other. Then you'll want to secure each side of your assembled shelf with a clamp to hold everything in place while you brad nail the pieces together. By the end, your brad nails will essentially serve as a clamp so you don't actually need to keep them on, but I did anyway for added measure. Oh, and be sure to wipe off any excess glue or else you'll need to sand it off once the shelf dries and that's really annoying to do. Next you're going to want to fill the nail holes with a little bit of wood putty and once that wood putty dries you'll want to sand it off. I'm just using a 220 grit sanding block, but pretty much anything would work here. You could use a sheet of sandpaper if you want. Now, if you're anything like me, you may have commitment issues and that's totally fine. So be sure to try a few different stains out first. I'm testing out a few combinations on the back of the shelf that no one will ever see because it'll be up against the wall. Once you've settled on a stain that fits your room, you can move on to the next part, which is poly. I'm just using a wipe on poly because it dries really quickly. Next you'll want to find your stud so that you can mount your shelf to the wall. Like I said earlier, I'm just going to screw in right from the front because no one will ever actually see the screws when the shelf is up. Next measure and drill a pilot hole. Then a countersink hole so that your screws sit flush with the board. Then give your shelf a final pass with the sanding block so that it all turns out nice and smooth. For this next part, I called in some reinforcements to help me get this bad boy up and leveled. Once everything is cleaned up, you can get to my favorite part of the process, staging. We didn't really know what we were going to put on the shelf, so we just started poaching things from around the house until we came up with something that we liked. I'm sure this shelf will change a lot over the course of its life, but as you can see, it's a super simple project that can really spruce up a boring wall. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, and don't forget, hit subscribe or I'll never make another video again.